Hello, in this video we're going to learn how to make a true or false quiz on Adalo. Um, so let's get going, I'll show you the database. Um, I'm not actually using users in this app so we don't need to worry about that just now. Um, we have a quiz collection with the name of the quiz and then that has a relationship one to many with questions. For the questions collection we have the question itself, uh, then there's the other side of that relationship to which quiz it belongs to. We have a text field for correct answer. This is always going to say true or false. And then we've got the question number. Um, now I've got a few example questions here. Um, you can see um, we have the question, which quiz, what the correct answer is and the question number. And then finally we've got attempt. Um, and here we can have the name of the quiz that they're attempting, um, the question number they're on, the score, i.e. how many correct answers they got, and then um, a true-false property called correct and incorrect, and we'll come to those later. So let's start building. Um, we're going to have a custom list, which would be a list of quizzes. Okay, so they can choose which quiz they want to start. In this example app, we've only got one quiz. Okay, and then we're going to have an action to link to a new screen, which will be the quiz screen. Um, and we also want another action when they move to that screen, which is going to create an attempt. They're having an attempt at the quiz. Um, well, let's put question number one because they will start with the first question um, and I think that is okay for now. Oh, name of the quiz will be current quiz name. Done. Okay, on to the quiz screen. We're going to have another custom list but we're really only going to be displaying one big tile. Something like this. Okay, so stretch that out. Um, instead of a title, let's um, say it's a list of questions, filter current quiz questions. Um, add another filter, um, the question number is equal to current attempt Q number. Okay, so then only the question they're on is going to display here. Okay, and instead of title, that can be the question. Okay, so now we've got um, a question displayed here and now we need a button for true and a button for false. Let's start with true. Okay, so um, get the false, make that a red. Okay, um, so let's start adding some logic. So on the true button, uh, we're going to update the current attempt um, score to current attempt score plus one. Okay, and this is going to happen sometimes if current question correct answer is true because they're clicking the true button, therefore, if the correct answer was true, they're going to gain one to their score. And then, secondly, we want to update the current attempt question number to the current attempt question number plus one. So each time um, they click on one of the buttons, of course, we want to go to the next question, and this is how we do it. Okay, and then we want more or less the same for the false. So we'll update the current attempt. Score will be current attempt score plus one. And that will happen sometimes if the current question correct answer is false. Okay, because they're clicking the false button. And then again, we just want that um, update current attempt question number to the question number plus one. And that always happens. Okay, and then let's have a text field up here which can say your current score, magic text, current attempt score. 
Okay, let's have a look at what we've got so far. Geography quiz, let's go. Okay, Paris is capital city of France, true. You can see our score is one. The Amazon River is in Africa, um, that is false. Capital of Sweden is Oslo, that's false, but let's see what happens if we hit true. Okay, our score stays the same. Mount Etna is in Italy, true, I think. Okay, so we've come to the end of the quiz now and no more questions to display. So we've really, really quickly now got all our functionality. But at the end of the quiz, really, um, we want to show you finished the quiz, congratulations. So let's have an action on the quiz screen which will link to a new screen and will make it a modal. Okay, and make sure that transition is modal. And then show advanced. This only happens sometimes if the current quiz questions count, the number of questions in the quiz is less than the current attempt question number. Okay, so that means um, when you've done the last question, you've clicked a button, um, the question number of the attempt is now going to be higher than the number of questions, and it will trigger this action to link to this modal. And on the modal, um, congratulations, you finished the quiz. Your score is um, current attempt score out of current quiz question count. Okay, let's get rid of the cancel button and make this link to the home page. Okay, let's check that out. Let's make sure it's working. Okay, let's just uh, fill in true for all of them. Okay, uh, congratulations, you finished. Your score is two out of four. Okay, and back to the home page. Um, and then, of course, we could add more quizzes. We could um, uh, have your past attempts if, if you started to link up users. For example, you could have a relationship uh, between users and attempts. Okay, so an attempt belongs to a user. That's something you'd usually want to do. Um, now, one more thing we also will probably want is when they answer correctly, um, not only do we want the score to go up, maybe we want something to come onto the screen saying um, you got it right or you got it wrong. So to do this in a very simple way, I'm going to have an icon, um, which will be a happy face. And let's make that nice and big. Okay, and... Let's make that green, because we're happy, and it's good. Okay, and then another thing I'm going to use is a countdown timer. Uh, set two seconds, and let's just minimize it and make it really small and invisible. Okay, and I'm just going to arrange that neatly, snap to the bottom of the icon. Okay, and then I'm going to make it a group and the group is going to be called um, correct group and copy paste and move it over here and this one can be the incorrect group let's change this icon to a sad face um, in red okay um, and the last thing edit style fixed top we want to do that so it doesn't break the layout elsewhere. Okay, so the, um, you might be wondering why we've got a countdown timer. So let's have a look back at our database. On attempt, we had these two properties, correct and incorrect. What we want to do is have this show when this is true and have the sad face show when incorrect is true. So let's go to the correct group, change visibility. It's sometimes visible if current attempt correct is true. Likewise on the incorrect group it's sometimes visible if current attempt incorrect is true. 
okay? And then the reason um, for the countdown will be to switch off that property because we just want these to pop up and disappear after say two seconds. So that countdown for this group um, can update the current attempt correct to false. Okay, so in, in two seconds it'll set that to false. And this one, add action update current attempt incorrect is false. Okay, so that's just to switch off the visibility of those. Okay, so the next thing is how to get those properties to turn on in the first place so that they pop up. Let's go to our true button. We've already got this update, the score plus one, if um, true was the correct answer. So we can easily on that just add correct is true. So that same action will make the happy face pop up. Um, we do need to add another one, update current attempt, incorrect is true, and show advanced, sometimes if um, the current question, correct answer is false. So if they've clicked true, but the correct answer was false, it will um, tick that true false property, incorrect, and make this show up. Um, another thing is we want that action to be above that other action there and this was our one to increment the question number. Okay, We do want that to happen last otherwise it's going to look pretty strange. Um, so that should be the true button sorted and let's do the false. So when the score goes up for false they've got it correct so we can make that true. And then we're going to add another update current attempt. Incorrect is true. Sometimes, if the current question correct answer was true, okay, they click false, but the correct answer was true, they're going to have this ticked and see the sad face. Okay, and again, drag that above the increment. Um, so I think that should work. Let's give it a go. Paris is the capital city of France, true. Happy face, good. Um, and then it disappears. Amazon River is in Africa. Um, that is false, but let's see what happens if we get it wrong, true. Okay, we see the sad face. Um, okay, that is false, and this one is true. Okay, we come to the end, and we get our score, which was three out of four. Press OK, and we go home. So. We've really got um, yeah, quite a good, quick app, true or false um, quiz, and obviously you can keep adding to that. One of the first things you'll probably want to do is have a user login area and um, have them uh, be able to have their attempts. You'll see just when I opened up that, I actually put the sad face and happy face on the user property originally, but when I came to do the tutorial, I thought it would be interesting just to make an app where people don't have to log in. Okay, so that's all, and if you do have any questions, please let me know. Bye-bye.